Welcome everyone to the 222 Game Mode series provided by Heads or Tails. Today we'll be playing as New Zealand against Sri Lanka as they slump to ninth position New Zealand after a Australian win got them off the bottom of the table. New Zealand, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka have actually had an okay go in this uh, series. They've done okay. They've won a couple of games or maybe they've just had the one win. One win, one loss. I think both of these teams are actually sitting on one win and one loss. So the winner would allow them to probably move up the table a little bit because there is a fair number of teams in the middle category of the table while you've got the Sri Lankans sitting at the top end of the table. So right here we got Guptil coming out to bat for New Zealand with Kane Williamson. You've done it a bowl. What can the Kiwis provide? A four. A four. Oh, Guptil pulls it away. Is it going to be a boundary? The field is getting around to it. Does save it. Keep it to just two. As Guptil gets back. Ooh, along the ground for a quick single. Williamson got a run here. Jeez, would have been absolutely gone. Oh. That ball did not bounce at all. Oh no, Kane. Kane, Kane, Kane. Williamson goes. Absolutely plumb. Ross Taylor and Guptill here trying to probably get about a 20, 20 plus score. It's generally the ideal scenario for teams as this one goes away to the boundary. 12 off the opening over. But there's a wicket in it, making it very interesting. Guptill 7 from 4. Striking the ball okay. Striking it very nicely there. Again, this will beat the fielder. And go for 4. Oh, tries to drive it through the offside. Really was trying to play a cut shot off the front foot, which is probably not ideal. Oh, that's out. Yep. New Zealand all there for 16. Luckmal gets the wicket of Martin Guptill. And 16, the target. 17, really. Trent Bolt to open the bowling here for the Kiwis. And gets a dot. Look at all the slips here for Bolt. What if I just bowl standard test match bowling? Just outswingers, outswingers, outswingers. Oh, catch it! No one to catch it. Two dots in a row to start for New Zealand. 17 from 10 required now for Sarah, Sri Lanka. Oh, that's out. Surely that's out. I think there's an inside edge. But the umpire's finger goes up. A wicket for New Zealand. What a start, Trent Bolt. Gunnar Talaka goes. We are going to have a look at this back on the replay. I'm not sure if it was pad and then pad or bat and then pad. We're going to take a look on the replay screen. It does look like there's an edge there, mate. You have three reviews. You can use them. Silly choice. And that's pushed away for nothing. It's just, uh, it's bizarre to me to see no one using their reviews when they've definitely hit the ball. That's a big hit. That's four months. Four, four months. Four runs. Trent Bolt to finish the over here. Whoa, big six, I think. Yes, it is. Now it's interesting. One for ten. Whoa, that's a wide, Sally. That's a wide. You can't afford that. They need six to win. <laughs> There's six balls left. Can he get the wicket and snave this game? Oh, it's going to be a single. Five to win. Now, every ball is crucial. Every ball. Oh, it's pulled away. Is this going to be four? It is! Scores level, four balls to go. Sally must take a wicket. It's a silly field, really. It's all about the delivery. And it's going to be a single. Sri Lanka will win. New Zealand going down. After setting what they thought was a reasonable total. 
That, that just sh goes to show you, you must bat out the full two overs in order to make a good score. Sri Lanka win the match. Oh, the last game of the round. What do we got? What do we got? It is Tails. We'll be playing as South Africa. Are they undefeated right now? They are the only team left undefeated with a 2-0 scoreline. Coming up against Pakistan with a one win, one loss. Oh, here we go. Here we go. South Africa and Pakistan. We've seen some chases fall through. We've seen some chases gone down pretty easily. No games have gone down to the wire right now. And we've ne seen no easy wins yet either. Can South Africa be the team to get the easy wins with star bowler Kagiso Rabada? He's a man of the crease. Rabada to bowl. Two for zip. He's best bowling in this type of format. I believe that's what happened last time when he won the game single-handedly, instantly. Rabada. Ooh, he's, he's been given a run against him. He won't like that. He won't like that at all. Come in. On strike now. Rabada to bowl. Or oh, edge that. Catch that. Take that. Out is that. Pakistan one for one. What a catch from JP Dumini. Rabada with the wicket. Pakistan one for one. Baba Azam to the crease. Looking to rectify this Pakistan innings right now. Already one down and Rabada is storming in. One of the best 2-2-2 two, two, two bowlers in the game and he's got it. Oh, I tell you what, Rabada has done it again. We might see a review here. It could have been going down the leg side and that's what Azam's hoping for here. As Pakistan currently one for one. It's a fair delivery. Thank you, Nigel. Let's take a look at the inside edge. Oh, it's hit him on the back foot. This is where it's going to be interesting. There's definitely no bat involved. Is it sliding down? Is what's going to be the critical issue here. Just having a look at hotspot. Definitely no bat. Right on the toe, which is right in line with leg stump. Original decision is out. Impact in line. Wickets. Umpire's call. <laughs> it's going to remain out. Oh, we saw a very similar decision with Paddy Cummins. And... Bit more of the ball is hitting the stumps than in that one. They don't like it, Pakistan, but they're going to have to go. And Rabada is phenomenal. He right now is the player of the tournament. South Africa need two. They need two. Oh, they're going to even run a bye here. They can't lose. They cannot lose. Hashim Amla is going to be on strike here as the scores are level with 11 deliveries to come. Oh, and that's going to be another leg by. No runs there, but the game is all over. South Africa none for two, and they get the win in one of the quickest matches you will ever see. Five deliveries is all that was required for Kagisa Rabada, who really should have been the player of the match for taking two wickets. But no, they gave it to Zaman for the only person who made a run in the match. Bizarre. Bizarre. Woo! So at the end of the third round, South Africa, the only team that remain undefeated. Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, India, rounding out the top four with the West Indies, the only other side to be two and one at this stage. Pakistan, Australia, New England and New Zealand all with one win and a couple of losses. And Ireland, the only side yet to get a win on the board as yet. There's one team leading at South Africa right now. The chase will be on for when things go uh, go one way. Now, we're going to try and have a look here at the uh, statistics. Sometimes they bug out like this, so you have to go out and back in to have a look. But as we can clearly see here... So Virat Kohli, the number one run scoring player in the competition with 31 runs from his two innings, a high score of 20 and an average of, of a lot. But Sri Lanka's uh, Dilan Monawira, an average of 28, currently the best average in the comp with the highest score of 23. But let's take a look at the bowling. And this is really where Kagiso Rabara comes in handy. We've seen on three occasions... Players take two for zip. Rabada, Kumar, and Yudana. But Rabada, five out of the six possible wickets across his three matches that he could have taken. 
for just eight runs. Five for eight, an average of 1.6, and a strike rate of 2.2. Patrick Cummins with a slightly better strike rate of about 1.5. You see, Paddy Cummins has played three matches, but he's only bowled three deliveries. He's gone for one boundary, two wickets in that process, and two for zip in one of those matches. Quite incredible, really. Strike rate of 1.5. Phenomenal. And that will just about do it for another round of 2-2-2, two, 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 guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you are enjoying this series, as always. Please leave a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time with round four of the 2-2-2 two, two, two competition.